Hello guys, welcome back to Random City Wenders and James. Madam. And as you can tell from the title, there's a big thank you, 600 subscribers is special. Yeah. Um, we got an interview with Jem Karakan, didn't we? Yeah, we got an interview with Jem Karakan, <laughs> which is, you know, fantastic. Absolutely crazy, it's madness. Um, but yeah, this is the interview of him, uh, it's about 15 minutes long. Yeah. Um, yeah, the start of the recording uh, kind of cut. I had a little bit of problems with that, but um, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. we just asked him a question uh, what was your favorite moment for your 11 years at Reading? So, it's kind of like 15 seconds, so not that much really, is it? Even just anything, um, yeah, and he's <coughs> talking about the uh, FA Cup run, um, if it's not clear, but um, yeah, um, thank you guys again for 600 subscribers. Yeah. Um, yeah, here's to the next 600, yeah. um, on the road to 1000, over halfway there, but um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the interview then. See you. Coming through the academy, learning off the likes of, um, you know, Yamati, Sidwells, Harper. Um, I think, youth terms wise, in terms of games and stuff, I think our little youth cup run that we had, um, when we beat, uh, who did we have, when we beat Blackburn, um, at home in the Youth Cup was amazing and then obviously getting through to play Liverpool at Anfield was a great moment unfortunately we didn't win but you know look back at that team that we played with now and everyone's gone to, to really good things so that was well, probably like one of the better moments like yeah it was Alex Gilfie uh, myself James Henry um, Churchy Piercy it was never ending really the boys that came through so I'll always look back with fond memories of. Yeah, probably some Megan, of the best, sorry, mate. I say, sorry, probably some of the best players we produced, really. Yeah, it was a good little group. Um, I think we were Eamon's first little bunch that we that he had when we came through. So um, no, I made some some great friends, obviously, uh, with that team, and you know we all stay in touch now. So it's um, it's nice to look back on. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next question. Then. Uh, you were running for eleven years. Uh, you probably ruined with someone on your way trip. Who was that usually? Um, away trip. Um, I had a few. Um, probably favourite one would have been Morrow. <laughs> when we had a, a couple of years together, me and Sean, which was uh, interesting. Um, so yeah, we were always. Well, when he when he obviously joined was um, when we were with each other. But I had a few. I've ridden with Pierce a few times. Going back to. You know, like Dan Harding, people like that when I was first coming through, so I had a lot of roommates, but um, Mama was probably my, my favourite. That's the serial watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was funny. No, he'd always come up with something new, and uh, no, you'd look forward to the away trip. Sometimes they can be a bit daunting, but when you've got Mama next year, it'll always keep your spirits high, so uh, no, it was, a, it was a great time, something that I miss a lot. Have you got a uh, funny moment or anything like that from uh, away trips? Like, a, like someone had to do a karaoke initiation on it, the club does that. Anything <laughs> like that? <laughs> um, one that sticks out is probably uh, Matthew Connolly. I think when he when he joined, he was absolutely bricking it, um, <laughs> which is an understatement. Uh, he got up to sing his song, and I think his legs went, and he, he came back down and then offered to pay for <laughs> a, a team meal for everyone. Um, which was pretty funny, but no, nah, there was always something new. Trying to trying to get the boys up was always tough. I remember Griff and Andy Griffin didn't uh, didn't want to get up and sing at one point, which was quite funny to watch Jovi try and get him up there. But uh, no, nah, it was always uh, something that was was uh, eagerly anticipated. And I used to try and be the ringleader to get them up there. But no, nah, some some real good memories there. Well, so you scored eleven goals at the club as well. Um, yeah. You know, obviously some of the memorable ones, Fulham. Uh, your return as well against Watford. Um, what was the most memorable out of all of them like for you? Um, I think, well, there, there was a couple really, you know, I, I, my Preston volley, um, it was a long time ago now, it was probably out there my best one that I've scored in my career. Um, you know, the Premiership one, I know it didn't look great for us, I think we were nearly down at the time, but to score, you know, in the Premiership was, I, I can't tell you, I, Yeah, it must have been amazing. <laughs> In recent times, away games to Fulham, it was some of the best football we played for a while, and it was it was uh, great. And then obviously coming back against Watford after I think 18 months out injured and, and scoring on my first start, well first appearance back was uh, was great as well. Even though we were losing, but just to know that I I could still kind of kick a ball properly was a uh, was a nice feeling. 
cracking goal as well. I remember it was about 25 yards, wasn't it? <laughs> it was alright, yeah, it was good. But no, it was just, just nice after being so long out to, you know, get that goal. It was, um, it was nice just to come back with a, with a little, uh, you know, topping on the cake, really. So obviously in a 2012-2013 season, we got, we got promoted to the Premier League. 2011, yep. 2011, yeah. Well, we were promoted into the Premier League. Um, what was it like playing in the Premier League? What was it like? Uh, tough. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, a real, a real shift in, in uh, talent and, you know, the standard of players you were coming up, up against was, was crazy. I obviously broke my ankle at the end of the season. We got promoted, which was tough to deal with. Um, but I think my first appearance back was at like, Chelsea in the midweek game. Not an easy game to come back to then. Hello? Hazard and that running at me and I remember looking around at Dumps and Gareth and, and just saying, mate, what is going on here? But <laughs> it was um, obviously when Pog got that goal and, and we were leading for a while, it was disappointing that we didn't didn't hang on and I think if we I know it was only the second game of the season, but if we got something out of that, it would have given us a real massive boost to know that we can deal with the best players in the world, really. But it wasn't to be, and uh, you know, it, w it would have been interesting to see what would happen if we come away from that game with something. Yeah, I remember um, Pog was the header, weren't it? Who was actually yeah, Gareth Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> um, no, but um, when we did win promotion, obviously, um, obviously you did have that heartbreaking injury. Um, there's been a lot of different yeah. stories about how like, you actually got back to the gate, uh, back to the Medeski when we um, got them up. Um, would it be alright to tell yeah. us a story about how you actually got there? What actually happened? Yeah, um, like how you actually got back to the ground. Well, I was fuming really initially that they penned me in for that day. Um, and my operation was meant to be in the morning. Um, so I thought to myself, get this operation out of the way, see how I am, and try and get to watch the game. Uh, operation just got delayed, delayed, delayed. And then uh, I went down, I think, I don't know, four or something like that for the op, came back up and the game had started. Um, I was heavily dosed up on morphine. Um, my mum and everyone was with me, uh, obviously just after the operation, and, and we were listening to the game and I was in and out of sleep. And then obviously uh, you just heard on the radio that Ledge had scored and we all broke out, broke out screaming and stuff. Um, unbelievable moment hearing that Ledge scored. He was such a good mate as well. And I just said to my mum there, and then I went, "Look, get me out of here. Um, we're going to a game." I was throwing up at the time, so she was like, "No chance." But uh, I kind of angrily shouted at her that she still holds against me. Um, my brother nicked a wheelchair and, and wheeled me out and jumped threw me in the car. And uh, after the game, we went. It was a. Uh, <laughs> Something I look back probably a bit silly. Could have done more harm than than good, but you know I've, I'm still proper gutted that I missed the actual seeing the boys lift the trophy. It'll always be something of proper proper regret because um, I missed obviously when the 2005-2006 team won it. I was away with Turkey, so I didn't get to see that, and I didn't actually get to see all the, the crazy scenes on the pitch. Is something I'm proper gutted about. But just to be there with the boys in the changing room and. You know, Noel running out in sloggies and, you know, I broke down in tears with Joby. It was uh, something I still get a bit choked up about now, but, no, I loved every minute of that season. It was uh, incredible when you look back and see what we did, but that group of boys, I think, was the best that I've ever played with and, and something I'll proper take, look back and appreciate the, the men that I was on the pitch with. I don't know, I have to say, you're a big part of that squad. Big thank you as well for everything you've done in the club as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, mate. Um, moving on to the next question, obviously. Uh, who's the best player you've get, uh, played against? Obviously, you've played against a lot of good players. Uh, who's the best you've played against? Um, oh, there's been a. Well, we look back, obviously, in the Prem every week, you play someone that was, you know, unbelievable. Um, obviously, Stevie G was incredible just to have the opportunity to be on the same pitch as him. You know, Lampard, you know, he's a Premier League great, he's really gigsy. It's hard to really pick one out. I think. The toughest player, though, performance-wise, was probably Dembele when we played Tottenham away. And I think, was it Pav scored an early goal at White Adelaide? Um, yeah, I think And we did, just got yeah. bombarded. Yeah, just got bombarded after that. It was 
I felt like I was at right back. Dembele was throwing me always in the middle of the park. It was something I don't look back fondly, but he was unbelievable that day. And uh, yeah, probably the hardest performance I've had to play against. He was on fire, and uh, he's up there. But like I say, there's been so many that I've had been fortunate to play against. Even you know, you like to Griezmann and, and Bale this last season. It was a uh, you know, you're just fortunate enough to be on the pitch really with them. It's uh, an honour, I'd say. Um, this is right, we take just a quick few questions from Twitter as well. Yeah, of course, mate, yeah. Okay, so this one comes from at Hot95. Um, he says, have you ever thought about coming back to England? Um, obviously, later on in your career, obviously, with Galatasaray right now. Um, if the opportunity um, comes back. Yeah, I, I miss England a lot. Um, you know, being away from all my friends and family has been really, really tough. Um, just a different lifestyle. Um, obviously, it's been tough being over there with a lot of stuff outside of football going on um, so it's been a real real tough year um, so definitely would look to come back to England it's home and uh, somewhere that I, I greatly miss um, but we'll have to wait and see you know um, who knows what will happen and if the opportunity arises it would I'd definitely consider it next question is coming in from at GMAX Magic uh, he asks would would you ever return to Reading as a manager or a coach? Um, uh, you never know. The, uh, I've obviously started my coaching badges in the summer with um, Coxie, Noel and, and Jamie Mackey, which was interesting. Um, something I'd look to get into later on in my career. And, uh, you know, Reading, I grew up. I was there most of my footballing career and uh, it's a place that I miss. Um, so yeah, I, w I would if they were ever crazy enough to offer me an opportunity to coach or anything like that. I'd, I'd definitely consider it, but you know, hopefully, I've still got a, a little bit left in me to play some football. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so the final uh, fan question comes from Redden Fan Man. Uh, he says, um, um, "When you were when we were at Wembley, obviously um, heartbreaking moment hit the post. Um, what was kind yeah. of the feeling going through? Obviously, when we lost, obviously." Heartbreaking for everyone. Oh, it, it was uh, I crazy. Every time I even go back to watch a game, I feel like crying. It was uh, it was a horrible moment. But I think at that that moment, it kind of uh, kick-started what we wanted the next season. We didn't want to have to deal with that heartbreak again, and it was um, obviously gutting at the time. But it really did make us stronger, stronger as a unit to to go and achieve something crazy that we did next season at Anova so you know it was tough at the time but I think it made us um, and just being that one post post width away from you know potentially winning the game it, it made everyone realise how close we were and that we could actually do it so you know it was tough at the time but it made us stronger definitely going into the next season Okay so our final one obviously is from us um Right, so obviously you've got that dream move to Galatasaray, obviously you've been at Reading 11 years, yeah. um, you've seen as almost a well, your club captain, club legend as well, obviously over 100 games. Yeah. Club. Um, was it difficult moving away from Reading? Um, very tough, um, you know, I still look back and, and think what would happen if I stayed, um, you know, I wanted to, I missed so much football in the last few seasons, I kind of wanted to, to repay that back to everyone that supported me but you know it's very tough when um, you know a team that you supported when you were younger that you watched when you had the opportunity to my dad supported to, to turn it down the, the opportunity to potentially play Champions League football um, and Reading it over that summer it changed a lot um, you know I saw some close friends at the club that worked there had left um, some close teammates were leaving that I knew about and uh, you know I didn't it, it, it's tough when you look back but you know I, I didn't get you know a, the best offer from the club to kind of stay um, and it was just you know a, a, an accumulation of things that you know it was probably time for me to move on you know I would have loved to have stayed and um and carried on but it was a very different Reading from the one I knew um, but just loads of different things were happening really to, to make that decision but ultimately it was uh, 
unfortunately I didn't take that chance and then to, to play for that club to play for that that's why I'm you know achieve something that I never thought would be possible in my in my wildest dreams to, to play in the Champions League which fortunately enough I'd done you know it, I think I would have regret, regretted it but I definitely think what would have happened if I stayed um, but now it's so, such a hard decision and, and something that I'll always look back and wonder what if I stayed and stuff so it's one of those things but I've played in the Champions League now achieved something that I always wanted to do and it's funny that Eamon always said I would do which was uh, crazy really that he always had that faith in me to make it there and even though it's one game it's something that I loved Alright well thank you very much for this opportunity Jim um, really Absolute pleasure mate yeah. yeah thanks for your time you know obviously um, we've been following very well, our lives really yeah. obviously yeah um, I remember Christmas Day uh, 2013 I think it was got you on the back of the away shirt it's crazy times <laughs> <laughs> no I appreciate it mate um, yeah and good luck with uh podcast and everything you're doing uh, okay well thank you very much again and uh, all the best no worries mate uh, good luck for the season thank you